Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Uh, I am so stoked right now because yesterday Linda and the Mockingbirds came out and I got a chance to see it. Uh, that's the new documentary uh, starring Linda Ronstadt, um, who, uh, if you guys don't know by now, is my favorite singer of all time. Uh, of course, one of the most famous singers of all time uh, throughout the 60s, 70s, and 80s and beyond. Uh, she's one of the most successful of all time, covering an enormous uh, amount of different genres, singing folk, rock, country, jazz, um, and of course, uh, Mexican traditional music as well. Um, her 1987 album, Canciones de Mi Padre, uh, is the highest selling um, non-English language album in the history of American recorded music. It's pretty incredible. And this movie uh, documents a journey she took last year to Sonora, Mexico, along with the wonderful singing group Los Cezanteles. I cannot pronounce that. I'm so sorry. But uh, that's uh, Spanish for the Mockingbirds, hence why the movie is called Linda and the Mockingbirds. And yeah, documents their trip to Sonora, Mexico, where, which is where Linda's grandfather was born, actually. And uh, they make this trip so that... Uh, the Mockingbirds can put on a wonderful concert, um, which they do uh, fairly with, with with a certain amount of frequency down there, and it's just a real great trip for these kids. A lot of these people in this group are are kids uh, who are in their sort of preteens and teens, and it's a wonderful bonding experience for them. I know. I, I think Linda financed the first such trip back in the 80s. Uh, this movie also features the great Jackson Brown, who was just along for the ride. Um, Linda asked him if he wanted to join in, and he is, as he says in this movie when he's asked, uh, why'd you go on this trip with Linda? He says, well, when Linda Ronstadt tells you, hey, you want to go down to Mexico? You say yes. <laughs> Can't help but agree with that, but it's cool to see him just, yeah, he just feels like he's along for the ride, just sort of taking it all in. And uh, he's been moved by their cause as well, and written some songs in the last few years, which he shares in this movie about the recent, or the, the plight of uh, Mexican-American people in recent years, uh, with, of course, the Trump era and all that's been going on down there. They do film a segment of this movie from the uh, one of the ICE... Uh, detainment facilities near the Mexican-American border and it's very emotional it talks about how uh, people of Mexican ancestry who live in the States live in fear of being deported all the time and not just deported but ch children uh, live in fear of being separated from their families as that has gone on so often down there there's a lot of bad things going on but Linda knew this was a story that had to be told and had to be told through music. And that's what I love about her is that uh, she's always known how to use her voice for good. For those of you who don't know, she performed her last concerts about 10 years ago. And in 2013, uh, she was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, which robbed her of her ability to sing. And everyone, myself included, was just so sad that her uh, career was over. But uh, she's such a genius and she's so, um, she, she knows exactly how to use her voice for good, as I said, that little did we all know that her career was far from over. She still had a lot left to say, even if she couldn't sing anymore. After uh, her re retirement from singing, though, she did go out for, I believe, three or four years and perform some, some speaking engagements where she just talked about her life, talked about the story that she wrote, uh, the story of her life, rather, that she wrote down in her memoirs, Simple Dreams, and then, uh, yeah, I got the, the wonderful chance to make a six-hour uh, journey of my own down to Portland, Oregon a couple of years ago to see her do a speaking engagement down there, and it was, it was wonderful. It was a day I'll never forget. Um, I'm so glad I made that trip, um, especially because I believe it was one of her last speaking engagements before she stopped doing them altogether. And then, uh, thankfully, uh, she told that story once again, the story of her life and career, that is, in a documentary last year, uh, directed by James Keach, 
called Linda Ronstadt, The Sound of My Voice. And again, what did I just say? Linda knows how to use her voice for good. So when James approached her about uh, making this documentary and appearing in this documentary, being interviewed for it, she said, sure, I'd love to on one condition, that you also follow me down to Mexico and do a document of this amazing trip by this, uh, I keep calling them a singing group, uh, Les Cezantelles are not, I, again, I, I feel terrible for pronouncing that so awfully, but they're not just a singing group, they're also just fantastic musicians and multi-instrumentalists, and they just put on a great show. Um, but yeah, she said, you gotta document this journey for these young people and how much it means to them I think it's an important story to be told. So she said, if you do not follow me to Mexico and, and, and film this incredible trip, uh, I will not be interviewed for this <laughs> documentary. And I think James, like a lot of people uh, who she's worked with in her career, was kind of forced just to just be like, Ugh, I guess. <laughs> I, I guess, yeah, we, we'll do that for you. And then upon making the trip down to Mexico, he really realized how important this story was and he, he he fell in love with the group and fell in love with just the journey itself and just getting to see uh, Linda <laughs> and Jackson Brown just taking it all in and talking about it and uh, just, just, just being part of this whole team, this whole bond that uh, will uh, forever be able to share the story of this great trip and this is definitely the more important I think of the two recent Linda Ronstadt documentaries to see and while I love 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 last year's documentary Linda Ronstadt The Sound of My Voice I adore it so much and I think you should all go and see it that movie at least in Linda's mind appears to have just been a means to an end to get this story out there this means the world to her of course she is Mexican-American uh, like I said, her grandfather uh, was born in Sonora, and she sang all these Spanish language songs uh, with her family growing up. And that's another thing this movie touches on, is that music really starts in the family, particularly in uh, Mexican culture. And for some reason, it just doesn't get the... Um, the, the mainstream sort of exposure in the States, there's not a tremendous amount of radio stations playing that sort of music in the United States anymore. Linda thinks it's extremely important to keep this legacy of this music, and not only this music, but their story uh, for, for years to come, and, and it's absolutely important. Anyway, I, I've been rambling for a long time about this movie. I loved it so much. You should all go out and see it. Um, or don't go out and see it. Nobody can do that. It's 2020. What I mean by go out and see it is, you know, I, I picked it up on iTunes. I don't know where it's all available and I'm not paid to promote it. But I will anyway because it's fabulous and I love Linda Ronstadt and I hope she carries on with many more projects in the future. I'm so excited to see her still active. Yeah, great movie. You guys got to check it out. I hope there's more from her in the future. That's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I do hope you guys check out this movie. It's 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 an incredible story. Uh, check out the description for uh, for uh, if you guys don't know, I'm a musician myself, and in the description are links where I can find my music, where it's sold or streamed online. I think I'll throw a link into the website for this awesome documentary as well. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Like this video if you like what you saw. Subscribe to this channel if you've been enjoying my videos, and ring the notification bell if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, which will be real soon. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you again soon.